Welcome. This is the Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for April 23rd, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us as usual is Coach Rob. Uh, taking a look at SPY, uh, that's a pretty amazing run up that SPY had. So I'm guessing that today is what we call a green day where uh, all the prices were rising, not a red day where all the prices were dropping. So I, I assume that you, we were able to make a small fortune today. Uh, yeah, we we did pretty well, uh, and there, the the beautiful part about a move like this is a lot of different strategies that you might have as a trader can work here. So options is what we'll talk about. The stock trade stock day traders also had a good day today trading shares. But we'll be trading options contracts for this review, and <clears throat> maybe for for folks that haven't watched these reviews before. Why are we looking at SPY? Well, SPY is the option code for the S&P 500. It's what we trade when the, pretty much it's a good indicator of how the whole market's doing. So when you build from, let's, I'll just take it all the way back to the start. This is what our charts look like uh, at 9.30 when market opens, that first minute of the day, that's the candle you got. And then with the replay controller, the beautiful part is you can go to the end of the day and you can just study what happens. So tell it, Tell the story, put a narrative to it. It started out, uh, went below opening price, and then it just it, it hit some kind of launch pad because it just springboarded all the way from 290 and 50 cents all the way up to 293, almost 293.25. That's a heck of a, a good day for the S&P 500. And then once it hit that around lunchtime, just went sideways. There wasn't too much in there. But we'll take a couple, we'll look at a couple of different tickers uh, other than SPY, individual stocks and another index that uh, would have made us a decent profit during these runs right here. And that's really what we're trying to do, Scott, is just uh, share opportunities with, with folks so you can kind of know what to look for and then you can take it to the replay controller and develop your own system of rules to follow. Um, or you can just get a coach and and not pay tuition in the live market. We'll just uh, we'll, we'll train you up on some mindset stuff and how to use these tools. So that being said, let's go back to the beginning of the day. And instead of SPY, I'm going to bring up Amazon. Amazon, if you, you can just tell there from going to an index like SPY, it's priced at 291. Amazon's one of those big price stocks. So our price range here for Amazon, uh, it started about 1893. Touched 1890. So these big round numbers, this is just kind of the coach's tip for the day. Big round numbers mean something. And we're options traders, so we're not trading shares at these prices. Or, or we're trading options today, I should say. We also trade stocks. But uh, here, it, this is a significant number for the underlying stock traders. When you're trading options, it's also going to be significant as far as support and resistance, where trends could stick, could they, they could start and they could end. So here we go. We're seeing Amazon kind of just creep up, and then it got this nice blue tint around it. It's called K-band. We got this green signal denoting it's a green trend, and it just looks it just looks pretty. Like even if you have no experience with a chart, it's just, it's starting to get some color, some some life to it. That means Amazon's coming alive, and it's starting a little bull run. So we're gonna wait for it to break this blue line here because this area is the risk zone. Let's give it one more minute. And that's that's a doji. So I don't think I don't think that's that's a good entry point. Let's wait one more minute and see what happens right there. Okay, so now now I'm interested. This doesn't really count, but we'll count that as about the second candle of that trend. We've we're at 1898.16. So my talk in this moment as a trader, just to give you a, a look inside of the coach's brain, is okay. I, if I get in here, we're outside the risk zone. I got some volume behind me. Got a nice powerful candle, and it's either going to go to 1900, I'm planning my exit, a little profit planning, or it's going to touch this resistance line at 1901.94, almost 1902. So when I click buy a call, which is how you make money in the options world going up, it counts for our, uh, our commissions right off the bat. The system does that for you. <clears throat> so I'm in now, Scott, and I'm just going to go one, one minute at a time in the replay controller here, and I'm going to take a look at what happens with Amazon. So a higher high, we're getting some increased volume, but not a spike to end the trend. And we're not quite at uh, 1900 yet. We still got about a dollar to go. 
and now we're starting to get close. We still got about 50 cents to go and we're at 5%. So that's a really nice mm, setup. And let's just see how far it goes in the next one. Okay, bam. So we've we hung around for about one, two, three minutes and it was a nice clean trend. That's why we're showing you this opportunity because the entry was pretty clear and the exit is also very clear. This one is unmistakable. When you see a giant volume spike like this, uh, that's exceptional. And that means that the buyers who were moving the stock upwards and you were making a profit on the option, those buyers are starting to lose ground to the sellers. The sellers are likely about to take over and take some profits because that thing just, this stock just touched 1900. It's a big point for long term traders. They might have had some automated sell orders in there. Plus, it touched that resistance line at 1901.94. No reason to hang around any more than this. Let's close out. 13% is a great trade. Uh, and let's be happy and, and move on to the next. And we'll do just that because I've got another one queued up here just in a few minutes. Another tech stock. We're going to trade Goog, uh, which is, well, it's Google. Um, Google has two stocks. They split long ago. So. We'll trade both those tickers. In this case, it's G-O-O-G, -O -O -G, Goog. And we'll go forward past that 945 big time window. And I want to see what happens with Goog now that we saw the green trends are happening on the day. What's Goog going to do after 945? Right there, we've got CLV of 99. That means uh, the close location, it's, it's almost at the highest. It's 99% of its highest uh, for the day, its highest price for the day. That little wick took away a 1%, but uh, we won't hold that against Goog. Uh, in this case, it's going a little bit against the market, but it's got some strong underlying conditions, and it's been trying to break up uh, from 1250. So some people out there think 1250 is a good price, good value for Goog. They're going to buy. <clears throat> Let's buy an option on that stock at the same time. And it's got all the indicators we want, the big five. So rogue, rogue strategies are... Uh, not exactly the norm, but you can train to them where you can just take them when they're when they're just obvious, when they're jumping off the screen to you. Let's go forward just a minute at a time here, and we're on two-minute candles with Goog. We're starting to get some gains, some higher highs. I mean, that 10% in, in three minutes, that ain't bad at all. So let's see how far this goes. Close to that, uh, my eye as a trader is on the RA line right here. Could be a resistance point, but we're also at a big price point, 1255. Like I mentioned 1250 is where this run kind of started. 1255, let's see the behavior of the stock. And as you said, we're not gonna anticipate where it's gonna turn around. We're gonna wait for the behavior of the stock to confirm for us what's, what's happening. So we'll go forward one more minute. And okay, right there, it got a little resistance around 1255, but just a little baby candle and we're still holding a, a profit. And right there, the conditions had had secured on the green side, and this one is is just unmistakable. Uh, it might break out higher up, but we got the blue star. That means the risk zone lines crossed over. It's the one, two, three, fourth, almost identical candle in this trend. Um, so trends trends can go for four more candles, but four is a uh, you know pushing it. So let's just get out right there with a beautiful nineteen percent gain, and you know let's. As a as a throwback, let's take a look at what would have happened next, Scott. And it would have would have eventually yeah, it would have tinkered around, but you know, as we always say, you don't want to be hanging around through that stuff. Uh, well, you want to get in clean, get out clean, and when it starts turning red and everything else, you're in danger of losing everything, and we don't want to do that. We want to protect our capital. Yeah, just not worth it. not yeah, not get worth. The, risk. Get the cream of the crop. There you go. Yeah, and. Uh, Okay, so that's two stock trades during that big green run. You remember that big, big green run we had up on SPY when we started the video? That's, that's basically the whole market is going with it. So let's get in on one of the other indexes that we like to trade, which is QQQ. That's NASDAQ 100. <clears throat> it's a really, really uh, nice index to trade. It's, it behaves pretty well. And when I say that, I mean, it, it tends to have some clean trends from time to time that are uh, just jump off the screen, obvious, and good ones to get in on. Um, so if SPY is moving, 
it's pretty good bet that uh, QQQ is going to be moving. And that, that big trend took off around the 11 o'clock hour. So let's get up there. And usually 11, 1100, 11 o'clock is, is where the volume kind of drops off historically. But in this case, I'm going to go forward to about 1120. And you see QQQ here. It had already blue starred. So that's, some, that's an indicator we talk about quite a bit. That means the risk zone crossed over, but here's move for the day. QQQ still has some juice left in it, especially when this big old bull run starts. And now we're breaking this resistance line, which is RC. We're breaking above 190, it looks like. Well, not yet, yeah, 150. So here we go. We got volume renewed and the market is getting behind it. If you look at all your indicators right now, everything's looking green. So we're gonna buy a call. And I have, uh, I have a little choose your own adventure here, Scott. Uh, this is a special one on the index. All right. All right, so we're in at 11.24. We're gonna go forward one minute at a time. And we're gonna watch this trend build. I'm gonna give, give folks two, two, two different strategies that you might have. There are short options trades and there are longer options trades. And so here's the short one. If you wanted to get out right here at 11.29 because the, ele the 11.30 uh, bottom of the hour is approaching, I wouldn't blame you one bit. That's a nice 10% gain, only five minutes. Easy one to, to, to pull the trigger there. However, if you have a longer strategy, <clears throat> I'm just going to pull over some of our additional windows. The market genius is looking strong. The main list is looking strong. The power genius is looking strong. And the minute log, some of the most important uh, windows and indicators that we have in our system, they're all saying bull run, bull run. So if you have a long strategy, this is one where you're like, okay, well, we've talked in the past, like long ago, about steady hands, Scott. Yeah. Everything's going up. If you're a long-term options trader, the market is in your favor. And I'll take a look at those, uh, those indicators again after, after we see this very long options trade that I have for you. So either 10% in five minutes, or I'm just going to keep going and going and going. Q just climbs and climbs and climbs. Uh, so I would get out probably around 1210 is what I marked. So it's this big volume spike. So if you look at it, <clears throat> from the thousand foot view and you had that strong hand you just hit 40 percent in what 40 minutes and it would if you look at it in retrospect it really was a beautiful trend had a nice breakout volume spike to start the trend and then about that same volume spike to end the trend that's a pretty Ooh. good on the index yeah so it makes for an excellent day yeah, if you if you get anywhere if you got any of these three trades, you would be having a good day, and you could just shut, shut down your machine and go live your lifestyle. That's right, thirteen percent, nineteen percent, and forty percent. Yeah, thirty nine point six. So you'd be celebrating. And the beautiful part about stock options is you don't have to trade more, more, more trades in order to make more money. You can just buy more contracts every time you do the trade. So. Thank you very much, Coach Jay. Appreciate you and appreciate you sharing your knowledge and information with everybody. And this has been the Trader Genius Stock Options Daily Review for April 23rd, 2019. If you're interested in learning more, joining our membership, having access to the software, we have a 10-day free trial. Uh, details are in the show notes or the description, depending on uh, if you're watching this. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Okay.